Hey guys, I'm about to head out to do a few last shopping for the truck and yeah i just want to like use this medium to also like share some information or rather ask for help because um a few things we're sort of struggling with is staffing um and sourcing like certain veggies so if anyone like i know where to get veggies but i'm looking for a system whereby I don't have to leave the truck to buy anything so i want a lot of things to be brought to me so if anyone has like a veggies contact here in accra most likely in east legon and if you know how i can go about staffing or you even have a fe fellow family member like i would really appreciate that so right now we're just looking for two staff one that would be a manager a full-time manager and a kitchen assistant slash cleaner so those are like the two positions that are up right now in my um, business so if anyone has any idea what i can do or has people that are willing to um come try out the job and whatnot just please let me know so yeah <laughs> Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Goodbye. <laughs> setting up my truck as you can see and yeah I have a lot of issues that I'm trying to sort out but the two important things I'm trying to actually do right now sorry is my staffing um, hmm, getting the right stuff is super important so I'm really taking my time to do that but I'm glad a lot of things are going well but hey, I just thought I'd come give you guys a little gist of what happened the other day. So as you all know, Casey has left. On the day he was going, I followed him to the airport to like see him off and everything. So um, I got into the airport, obviously there was like a long delay time. So we're waiting, waiting and all of a sudden this lady walked up to us here and she was like, hi please uh, my kids are upstairs and i really want you to help me carry one luggage one of their luggage automatically we're just like nope sorry casey didn't even answer her i was just like no i was still, like looking into her eyes she was not like oh but i just have luggage and my kids are upstairs my mind i'm like you're not making any sense but i was like no sorry we can't help you so she was like okay then she went on to ask like two or three other people that were traveling to lagos as well because that's where it was going from accra to lagos you know um and then after a while she came back with a luggage she had like two big box and she had a small luggage on top and then she had um it wasn't like a random lady who, like she had a weave on long bone straight hair she had a Gucci bag, you know, uh, uh, everything was looking very set. So I was wondering why she was telling us to help her carry her luggage. Hmm. Well, I wasn't wondering because I already knew what was going on. So when she came back, she was like, oh, sorry, what's the time? And then we told her, she was like, oh, why are they delaying the 
the um, check-in process and I'm like, you don't know. And my mind, I'm like, if I just deny to carry a box for you, you won't be talking to me. You'll be furious. <laughs> Anyways, um, after a while, a guy then came and she was talking to the guy. So when he was coming, I was like, oh, is this our kids? Because she said our kids were upstairs and I've not still seen even one kid. So she, this guy came, I sort of had a glance at him. I would say he was young, in like maybe 21, 22. And he was carrying like his hand luggage and another bag. So he didn't even have like a big luggage. Like what he had, he could just take it right into the plane, you know. So in my mind, I was like, why didn't she just tell him to help her carry the luggage? Because clearly you could tell that they knew each other, yeah. So after a while, both of them then left the airport with their luggage. So I was just talking to Casey. I'm like, that was just very weird, you know. Um, and then eventually, I was like, this lady was very suspicious. And I strongly believe whatever was going on wasn't genuine, you know. So um, Casey left, everything, everything. So when Casey landed and everything, I even totally forgot about her. And the next day, I asked Casey, oh, that lady, did you see her on your plane? And I was like, ha, this is where the story gets interesting, guys. She was in the plane, and there were no kids. In fact, yeah, there was no sign of one kid. And I was like, Casey, you must be lying. He said, no, that she was sitting by herself because the plane was almost empty. So she was just by herself. There was no one beside her. I was like, okay, what about the guy that was also meant to travel with her? Well, like, that guy never entered the plane. Ha! I was like, okay, continue. So it was like, when they were even leaving, um, they stopped her because she hadn't paid for her COVID test. So now you actually have to pay for your COVID test online before entering Lagos. So she hadn't paid for her COVID test. And I was like, okay. So at the end of the day, I think she sorted it out. And she came outside. And Casey was like, one luggage was missing, you know, because she was going with her trolley instead of the three luggage she had in total. Okay, I'll, I have to continue. Um, one of my meeting is here, so I will get back to you in a bit. So, sorry about that. Um, I'm actually a very good Ghanaian citizen, guys. Yes, I said I'm a Ghanaian citizen because um, so I had a quick meeting with the tax payers the tax people the gra um yeah it was fruitful you know because one thing you need to know if you're coming as a foreigner into nigeria and uh, into ghana is that you need to so for for a criteria for them to renew your work and residence permits after a year when it expires you actually need to give them a tax clearance to show that you've been paying tax while you're in the country to get a tax clearance, you actually then have to register for tax. And the tax is a complicated, you know what? I only know like 40% or understand my like 40% of the tax system. The rest, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so you have to register for your tax because at the end of the year, when you want to renew your work or residence permit, if they don't get, if you cannot get a class tax clearance because, um, you've not been paying tax then that's a problem <laughs> then you're not going to be allowed back into the country you know so that's something you need to know so anyways so um casey said back to our story here casey said when he came out of the airport she only had two luggage out of three meaning that the other one that was on top because that one was like wrapped in a lot of like clean film i think that's what they are called I don't know what the airport book called it, but in my kitchen I call it clean film. <laughs> so it was wrapped a lot of it. Said that box was in existence. So that lady number one did not have kids. There was nothing like I have because I even noticed when she was holding her passport inside like a Ziploc bag, there was only one passport in it. So I was like, where are the rest of the passports if your kids are upstairs? You know. So um, number one, that lady didn't have kids. Yeah. Even if she had, they weren't in that airport because I don't think she would have left her kids and traveled. Number two, whatever it was that she wanted us to carry 
was definitely some illegal drugs. I don't even know why I'm saying us. I wasn't the one traveling. It was Casey. But still, it was definitely illegal drugs. Because for you to leave the airport with the guy, that means you dropped off that bag, saying that you had asked a lot of people traveling on the same flight to you, and everyone said no. And you're like, you don't want to risk it. So you had to drop it. Because if it was genuine, yeah, I would have even... I'm, it's even paining me that I didn't think of it. I should have offered to pay for extra luggage if in quote she didn't have money to pay for extra luggage because i'm like the plane will take it you just have to pay and traveling from lagos to accra or accra to lagos the extra luggage per kg the fee is not even so high it's like one thousand naira or two thousand naira per kg so i really wish i i offered to pay for extra luggage you know but i'm like if you can afford the gucci bag the latest iphone the finest of hair you can pay for an extra luggage you know you get what i mean and the other fishy thing guys this is where i actually knew that something was off so in nigeria i don't think you are allowed to fly from nigeria to dubai anymore so what a lot of nigerians do is they come to accra and they're from accra to dubai so on this lady's box i actually noticed something that a tag on the box said emirates meaning she came from dubai to accra so it says emirates accra on her tag box so i was like this lady just landed in the emirates flight because the emirates flight actually just landed so i'm like this lady just came out of the emirates flight and she's now going to lagos but i'm like why didn't you just do a transit flight if you're coming if you if you left from lagos to accra to um, um dubai it should be a transit flight you don't have to come out of the plane take your luggage come out of the airport and now start checking in again so why didn't you just make it a transit flight from dubai to accra and to lagos why stop in accra as your final destination then book another ticket to lagos and the way ghana airport works is anybody can walk in whether you're traveling or not so what i believe was that guy entered the airport in the hoax of i'm traveling as well and gave her the other luggage that she was meant to take back to nigeria obviously maybe she used to do it before or she got cold feet or she said you know what i don't want to do this today let me find someone or i always find someone that takes this luggage to lagos so i don't get in trouble so i think that's what she was trying to do now that was that experience was just like i've never experienced that in person but i've watched a lot of border patrol uh, like especially with the australian ones <laughs> and i know that that thing is so scary so i don't know why in nigerian every nigerian knows that you don't carry another person's luggage for them i will not even hold your baby for you if you are going to use the restroom madam carry your baby to the restroom i am not doing anything even if guy i don't care i don't touch anybody's thing at the airport so it was just like a very very weird experience and i just felt like we need to share that because if i did in this video would have been casey got arrested god forbid but yeah that was just very scary and i think a lot of people need to be really vigilant about that because you can always want to form i'm a nice guy and when women use kids as an excuse it's like an automatic help that you would have to just render to them because common kids are involved you know but still i believe that everybody needs to be vigilant at the airport because it can just be you know bad day for you wrong place at the wrong time and you know when you're checking in your luggage they always ask you did you pack this suitcase yourself and you say yes so there will be nothing you will do if they actually catch you carrying drugs or any illegal substance for another person so yeah i just thought i'd share that because that was a very funny slash scary experience and it's something that a lot of us are traveling now airports are opening so people still need to be aware that that thing very much exists so yeah that's it for me i think yeah so i have like four or five other meetings for today so yeah i'll just get right up to it so i'll see you guys later ciao, ciao.